All right, guys, we're back here for day number two. Weather's holding out on us. We got the 90 p here. Uh, we've been working on it a little bit, trying to put it back together. Uh, we're just trying to knock off the ugly. We got the rest of the interior there stripped out. You can see up top, we use some just bed liner and bed line the top of it. Uh, try to cover up some of the holes that may be there. Come over here a little bit. We got some brand new batteries in there. We got E in there playing with the dash, covered up some of the hot wires. We're going to try to get her fired. We'll see what she does. Uh, I know we're waiting for the mechanic to come back and old grandpappy to come back as well. Uh, we let him hook up the battery so that way he feels like he's got something to do. Um, at least keep him out of our hair a little bit while we track down some of the wires. Come up here to the motor, check the oil. It's got oil in it. It's black. Um, probably going to need change and service here most definitely before it goes back on the road. Full of coolant. I think that was just a waiting game. So we're going to wait for the mechanic to come out before we crank it up to make sure that he hears it and uh, if there's any noises that you know he doesn't like to hear or see or smells or anything along those lines, he'd definitely tell us to shut it off. But we're going to go ahead and try to get it started up and uh, see if we can get this old girl running here on day two. So stay tuned. saw but we got the dash all torn out sitting down in here when we bought the truck the dash was actually laying in the back of the bunk uh, bunk is torn apart uh, this truck was sitting outside for a while you would tell it looks like there were some animals living up in it uh, nice bunk uh, clean just dirty and filled with screws somebody's half done project that we will gladly finish it up and put it back together so this is the small hole. Uh, plan is to take it to Unibuilt, put the bigger ring in it, reinforce it, and stick the thing on air. Uh, I'm not sure yet how we're going to do it, but I've seen it done. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. So we're here day two. We figured we'd give you guys a little something, a little preview of our work that we've already done. So that's the 379, the 90. How about we take you guys and we show you the 81 359 that we completely restored. It's got a big cam Cummins in it. We stretched it out, put about a two and a half, three foot stretch in it. Uh, we put the big bull hauler stacks on it. This truck's still kind of a work in progress, but for the main part, we got it running and done in under two weeks. Um, granted, that's a lie. It actually took a lot longer than two weeks. So it might be a little dirty now, but go ahead, hop in there and show them what's going on with it. You can see it's got diamond stitch leather all throughout it's got mahogany wood floors in it we went with that atlas elite air ride seats still got to finish the bunk those are panels we're working on but for the main part this thing came out kind of bitching <laughs> So the main part, we got to get her washed, we got to get her polished up a little bit, but hey, to say a truck that's a 1981 that still goes on the road every day and works is an accomplishment in itself. So you can kind of see what we're working for. Uh, obviously that truck may be a little nicer than this one. We want to get that one resprayed. So we got to get this one resprayed first, but uh, it's a little preview of what we do and how we do it. So uh, without further ado, let's get back to that 379 that we're working on, guys. Sounds good. 
pretty happy with it. We finally got her running. Um, she did decent. I uh, still got to clean out the tanks. That was kind of whatever fuel was in the line. Uh, good part is it had oil in it and the coolant was filled up. So whoever had this truck prior to us obviously was doing some kind of restoration work on it. Um, we were just lucky enough to get it fired up to make sure that that motor wasn't seized up because that would have been a whole nother complicated problem in itself. So we were glad to hear it fire over. Didn't sound the best, but it definitely uh, had compression and was able to fire, which is uh, a plus for us because we bought it kind of sight on scene without knowing if it ran at all. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and keep messing a little bit with this dash, but you can kind of see the sun's going down a little bit. Uh, we're gonna try to get out of here before the mosquitoes really kick in because we, do, we don't have the garage yet. We don't have it in there, uh, but we're gonna try to make that happen here sometime soon. Uh, we gotta get this old girl in the garage so we can really start tearing it apart and you know doing what we need to do it without it being exposed to the elements. But main thing is day two here, we got her running plus We'll keep digging through these wires and trying to figure out what's going on. We did have some issue right here with the starter button itself uh, shorting out when it would touch the aluminum here. Uh, so we just got our temporary fix, as you can see, a piece of tape holding it up. Uh, but we're going to go through and, and, and fix that the right way. Um, we got the dash panel in here and the rest of the panels. Well, we'll save that for a later date. We want to make sure that this cab is sound and ready to go and locked tight before we start putting everything together, especially since we've got everything exposed and it's easy to see it and do it right now. So that's going to be a wrap here for day two. Stay tuned for more. Um, and we will definitely keep you guys posted and up to date with everything we do. So day two, wrap. Peace, guys.